Hey, what is up guys? Adam here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Logitech MX Keys keyboard. I'm going to be doing a full review on this bad boy. I've been using this keyboard for over a month now and I've gotten to see some of the good things that it has and some of the flaws that it has as well. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and jump right into today's review. Okay, so right off the bat, you're probably noticing that I'm not using the same mechanical keyboard that I was using before. That's because this is a low profile chiclet style keyboard that is really designed for productivity rather than gaming. To be honest with you guys, I haven't been gaming as much as I usually do. So I needed something a bit different as most of my work is now video editing and writing papers for school. That being said, the mechanical keyboard is a little bit loud and due to some changes in my studio setup, I've decided to make a switch to a quieter non-mechanical keyboard. I originally went for the Apple Magic Keyboard, but then I decided that it would not work as well on a PC as it would on a Mac and wanted to go with the full keyboard with the number pads as well. And I was trying to stay under $150 for my budget. Now jumping into the review of the Logitech MX Keys, there are really three things that I found that I really like about this keyboard. The first has got to be the build quality. It's made with a single metal plate and feels really good to type on. The build quality is definitely on par with Apple's Magic Keyboard, which was the keyboard I was originally looking at for my current setup. I'm looking forward to putting this keyboard to the test of time and letting you know how it performs in a year from now. But as of now, me being a month into using the keyboard, it's still working like a champ and feels just as good as the first day I bought it. The next thing I really like about this keyboard has got to be the backlighting feature. It's got seven different levels of lighting and a really cool smart backlighting feature as well. Essentially, there is a sensor that's built into the keyboard that allows it to detect your hand's proximity, turning on the keyboard's backlighting based on the ambient light and your hand placement. As you move towards the keyboard, the backlighting will turn on, and when you're not around and walk away, it'll turn itself off to save battery. The backlighting on the keyboard is awesome for working at night with the lights off. And with that smart backlighting feature, it really adds to the premium feel and overall quality of the keyboard. And it's an overall win in my book. Not gonna lie, it would be really cool if it was RGB, but the white backlighting works just fine. The last thing I really like about this keyboard is the ability to use multiple devices and connect to them using either the dongle it comes with or Bluetooth. This is something Logitech is called Logitech Flow. And if you aren't too familiar with Logitech Flow, it's really just the ability to seamlessly bounce between different devices you are connected to with the click of a button on the keyboard. It also goes a little bit deeper though. You can also transfer files from one device to another connected device. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work as consistently as I would like it to, but when it does work, it's an awesome feature to be able to use. That being said, the transfer feature, meaning the connection from one device to the next device with just clicking of the button works just fine seamlessly every single time. Okay, so I've talked about all the things that I liked about it. Now it's time to talk about the things that I didn't like about the keyboard. For starters, I know I just got done talking about the awesome backlighting, but there is a bit of a backlighting issue with this keyboard. Now, for the most part, the lights work great and the sensors work well too but the device is constantly forgetting my lighting settings, which forces me to click the keyboard backlighting function to reset the backlights to my preferred settings. In addition, I couldn't find a way to make the backlights stay on indefinitely. Say I just like the lights and I want the backlights to stay on and be on all the time. I couldn't find a way to make that happen. And that's a little annoying. The last thing I didn't like about the keyboard was the inconsistency of the Logitech Flow feature. It only works sometimes. I bet it could be fixed easily through some firmware updates, but it's a bit annoying to have to deal with. Overall, the keyboard feels good to type on and works great. It has awesome backlighting, solid build quality, and is an overall winner in my book. The backlighting memory does need to be fixed for me to call this perfect, but again, this is an awesome product that I would recommend to anybody looking for a low profile, premium feeling keyboard that works well on PC. That's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more of my content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.